Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to quickly fill the blank cells of an Excel table. Blank cells can create issues, create some problems when working with that data in Excel. I have an example of that on screen and I have decided that I want to replace my blank cells with a zero. In my example, it's meant to indicate the pupil did not show for their exam. I'm going to replace that blank for zero, uh, which is the score that they would would have got anyway, and that would maybe make this spreadsheet easier for me to work with, depending on what I'm doing with it. Now, uh, first thing I need to do is look at selecting all the cells that are blank and then figuring out a way of putting a value in them. Now, I have a way of selecting all the blank cells, but what Excel will not let me do when they're selected is type in all of them at the same time. It will only type in what they call the active cell. So what I'm going to begin with is I'm going to type what I want in one of the blank cells I have. So just up to zero here in cell E4, I'm then going to go and take a copy of that. So I have a zero on my clipboard in my Excel memory. I'm then going to highlight the range of cells that I want Excel to search for blanks within. Uh, so I'm going to highlight columns B to E in my uh, situation. For yours, you would select whatever's necessary. I can then click on Home, Find and Select on the end, and Go to Special, which is a brilliant feature of Excel if you're seeing this for the first time. There's fantastic options like selecting all the formulas on a sheet, all the cells with a formula, or all the cells with data validation. Some really, really useful stuff. I'm going to click on blanks in this situation and click OK. And as you'd expect, it then selects all the cells that are blank. And you can see that it's done that. At this point, I'm going to click my paste button, or you can use your shortcut. You can do whatever you need to do to paste. And that will paste that zero into all of the selected cells, i.e. the blank ones. And that is that. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and find it useful. Please check out some of the other tips on our YouTube channel or at computergargar.com.